Welcome to the virtual tour of the Department of Surgery. The department is located on the sixth floor of the surgical building at the North Colombo Teaching Hospital, Dragada. Both the administrative and academic functions of the department take place at the hospital premises. We have office space for the academic staff, the administrative staff and the demonstrators. The lounge and the meeting area is used for the weekly mortality and morbidity meeting and also to hold discussions on academic activities of the department. The adjoining area has a well-equipped auditorium for student teaching. The auditorium is equipped with modern audiovisual equipment and internet connection to facilitate your academic activities. The department has nine academic members. The chair professor is Professor Ronil Fernando. Dr. Sumadhu Kumarage, consultant surgeon and senior lecturer in surgery, is currently the head of the department. The other members of the department are Dr. Nalinda Munasinghan, senior lecturer in surgery and consultant breast and oncoplastic surgeon, Dr. Bhagya Gunathilaka, consultant anesthetist and senior lecturer in anesthesiology. Dr. Arunabira Surya, consultant vascular surgeon and senior lecturer in surgery. Dr. Suchinta Tilakaratna, consultant gastrointestinal and hepatobiliary surgeon and senior lecturer in surgery. Professor Rohan Siribodhan, professor in surgery and consultant hepatopancreatic biliary and liver transplant surgeon. And Dr. Pramod Chandrasinghe. Consultant General and Colorectal Surgeon and Senior Lecturer in Surgery. We also have Dr. Diluka Pinto, who is Lecturer in Surgery and a Senior Registrar in General and Endocrine Surgery. The morning ward rounds take place with a consultant in charge and the house officers, the senior surgical trainees, the registrars and the senior registrars and the medical students follow. The unit manages patients with complex surgical diseases, especially in the areas of colorectal surgery, breast surgery, endocrine surgery, vascular surgery, and hepatobiliary and transplant surgery. The medical students get a first-hand experience in managing these patients during the ward rounds. The department has its own high dependency unit to provide care for the post-operative patients requiring close monitoring and critical care. The HDU has five beds including a special area for the liver and renal transplant patients. The HDU has facilities to provide high flow oxygen, continuous electronic monitoring, parenteral nutrition and is also equipped with specially trained nursing staff.
surgical primary care unit is situated at the ground floor of the surgical building. This is where patients with acute surgical problems get admitted to on casualty days. This is where the medical students can get a first-hand experience on managing acute surgical problems during their casualty days. The operating theatre and the endoscopy unit are the other locations where clinical learning and teaching activities take place. Both these are situated in the professorial clinical building. The new building operating theatre situated on the first floor of the professorial clinical building is where the routine theatre lists of the unit function for three days a week. Necessary theatre attire will be supplied at the reception for you to proceed beyond this point into the sterile areas. Observers entering into the operating areas of the theatre must be fully dressed in clean theatre attire. It is also important to maintain silence and behave appropriately without disturbing the theatre function. The operating room has adjustable theatre beds, machines and drugs used for anesthesia and surgical instruments. It is important to be conscious about sterility and not to contaminate the sterile areas of the operating room. Surgical scrubbing is aimed at achieving maximum level of disinfection of the hands to prevent the transmission of infections from surgeon to the patient. Initially, mechanical cleansing is achieved by following the steps of hand washing. Here, 10% povidone iodine is used as the chemical agent for scrubbing. brush is used to clean the nails and the cuticles and then discard it without the hands being contaminated. The hands and the forearms are washed unidirectionally from the fingers towards the elbows to prevent recontamination. The tap is closed using the elbow and the hands are held in front above the waist. The hands are dried from the fingers towards the elbows using clean parts of the towel each time. The gown is dressed without taking the hands behind or below the waist. An assistant has to tie the gown. The gloves are worn using the no-touch technique. Hands are kept in front and above the waistline to prevent contamination at all times. The newly built theatre complex on the second floor of the surgical building was declared open recently and will be fully functional in the near future. The endoscopy unit provides services to both medical and surgical professorial units. Both upper and lower gastrointestinal diagnostic and therapeutic procedures are being carried out here regularly.
patients undergoing colonoscopy are bubble prepped with polyethylene glycol for 12 hours. A cannula is inserted into the arm and the patient is put in the left lateral or the recovery position. Continuous electronic monitoring with pulse oximetry is carried out throughout the procedure. The patient is adequately covered, ensuring privacy. Colonoscopy is carried out under conscious sedation with the administration of fentanyl and midazolam. These drugs are sedatives and therefore administered under continuous electronic monitoring by a qualified nursing officer. Oxygen is continuously supplied through nasal cannula throughout the procedure and the patient is being monitored with the use of pulse oximetry. The scope is gently advanced up to the cecum and into the terminal ileum for a complete colonoscopy. Observation of the lumen is mainly performed during the withdrawal phase. Following the procedure, patients are being monitored for half an hour inside the endoscopy unit before being sent to the ward. functions seven outpatient clinics during a week including two liver transplantation clinics providing the students with ample opportunities to learn. The Department of Surgery is looking forward to welcome you and is dedicated to provide you with a pleasant learning environment.